Bluey the Beach. Bluey Bingo and Mom, Bluey Bingo Mom and Dad are off to the beach. Beach. <laughs> they set up the tent, roll around in the sand, and then race to the water. Bluey and Bingo pretend the waves are trying to splash them. Here comes a big one. Mom is out for a walk along the beach. Why do you like walking by yourself, asks Bluey. I'm not sure, says Mom. I just do. See you soon, little mermaid. What a strange answer, thinks Bluey. Not long after, she finds a beautiful shell and asks to show Mom. All right, off you go, says Dad. Whoa, ooh, for real life? <laughs> Says Bluey. All by myself, Dad nods. Just don't go in the water. Bingo waves her hands over Bluey's tail. Bluey laughs. I'm the mermaid who got her legs. Woo, legs. <laughs> Mom is now a tiny orange speck. Hmm, Bluey frowns. Maybe I'll just stay here with you and Dad. But little mermaid, you can follow Mom's footsteps, says Bingo. Oh, yeah, Bluey grins. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Bluey hops from one footprint to another. She runs and skips and does cartwheels in the sand until, oh my goodness, she comes across a flock of seagulls. Um, can you please move, Bluey asks politely. <laughs> it's a good thing mermaids aren't scared of seagulls. Ruff, ruff. <laughs> Bluey laughs as she hops from one footprint to another. She runs and skips and does cartwheels in the sand until... A big wave sneaks up and crashes onto the shore. It takes Mom's footstep, footsteps out to sea. <laughs> oh, you cheeky wave, Bluey barks. How will I find Mom now? Just as Bluey begins to lose hope, she spots a pipey coming up. Wee wees, hee 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 hee. <laughs> Pinchy pinch, a crowd scuttles past. Bluey copies his funny sideways walk. Ha ha, I'm the mermaid who got her crab legs. Or a I sound like a pirate. <laughs> Bluey scampers away, then skids to a stop. A jellyfish. How will I get past? She runs and runs. She picks up a stick and pokes the blue bob. It wobbles. Hello. Ha ha. You can't sting me, jellyfish. I'm the mermaid who got her legs, but only for a day. <laughs> Bluey races ahead. Look at this amazing shell, she calls, but Mom's still too far away to hear. Better keep going. Mom! Bluey runs and skips and does cartwheel in the sand until she comes across an old castle. Perhaps this is where all the other mermaids live, she thinks, and leaves her stick as, a, as present. Then she slowly backs away and bumps right into a pelican. Arg! <laughs> Sound like a pirate. <laughs> Bluey begins to think she's had enough of walking by herself. She looks back at Dad, but he's just a tiny blue speck. If I can't go backwards and I can't go forwards, what am I going to do? <laughs> Bluey remembers the seagulls and the crowds and the jellyfish. If she got past them, maybe she could get past the pelican too. She summons every bit of courage. After all, a little mermaid has got to be brave. I'm the mermaid who got her legs, but only for a day. <laughs> then she tiptoes around the pelican. <laughs> The pelican beats his great big wings and flies away. Thank you for moving, Mr. Pelican. <laughs> a familiar voice floats toward Bluey. She gasps and spins around. Bluey, Mom! <laughs> Bluey holds the, the shell to Mom's ear. It has the whole beach inside it. Bluey and Mom head back together. I love walking by myself, says Bluey. Oh, yeah, why's that? asks Mom. Bluey thinks, that's a hard question. I don't know. I just do. <laughs> the end. Bluey Bob Bilby, told by me. Hi, my name is Bob. I'm a Bilby. I like making new friends and having fun times with them. Like most Bilbies, I'm not much of a talker. <laughs> Today I'm going home with Bingo Hiller. She seems really nice. I'm already friends with her sister, Bluey. I wonder what we'll get up to. <laughs> At Bingo's house, I show her family my book. It has photos of all the adventures I've had with my friends. This is Jasper W. He likes Australian rules football. This is be on a trip with Mrs. Tr Terrier. It was cold in Scotland. Look at my yellow karate belt here. 
Every new friend has their own way to have fun times. Oh, you did a bit of karate, Bob, says Bingo's mom. Why could do? <laughs> I sure did. I learned it when I stayed with my friend Maxie. Hey, y'all. <laughs> Bingo's ready to show me how she has fun times. But first, that sausage roll, the big blue guy has... <laughs> Bingo's ready to show me how she has fun times. But first, that sausage roll, the big blue guy has looks yum. <laughs> We played Moo Cow and Blue and Bingo showed me the tablet. I've never seen one before. It can take photos. Click. <laughs> Moo. You can also play games on it. Bingo's mom and dad have tablets too. I wonder if they play games as well. Click. We watch cartoons on the way to the shops. I love watching cartoons. The cartoon characters have so much fun. Don't you want to teach Bob some card games? Asked Bingo's mom. Maybe I think the cartoons are finished. At the shops, we watch even more cartoons on an even bigger tablet. So many colors. So many pretty colors. Bingo's mom watches hockey on the big tablets, too. I love hockey. I wonder if Bingo and I will play hockey when we get home. <laughs> we don't. We don't. We watch more cartoons. I think I'm ready to do something else with Bingo now. Our time together is almost over. Kids, I'm putting our photos in Bob Billy's book, calls Bingo's mom. She's been taking photos all day. But when Bingo looks at the book, she sees the photos are all just of me watching cartoons. Bingo gets upset. <laughs> Bluey seems to understand. Bob just copies everything we do, and all we're doing is really boring stuff. So we need to do some really exciting stuff instead. She takes all their tablets and puts them in the basket. Bingo's mom gets out the box. Bingo and I are about to have fun times. <laughs> Click. The big blue guy takes photos of our adventures. Click. <laughs> Keep going, the big blue guy. <laughs> we play at the park and get dizzy, go round and round. We ride on Sparkle Man and pretend she could fly. The fireworks are my favorite thing ever. So many pretty colors. I love my friend Bingo. Back at kindergarten, Bingo and I tell the class about our fun times together and show them the new photos in my book. Then it's time for me to have an adventure with Missy. I'm going to miss Bingo. I hope she knows how happy I am that we're friends. She seems upset again. I want to tell Bingo that I had so much fun with her and I can't wait to see her again. <laughs> but I'm not much of a talker. <laughs> the end. Bluey, Grannies. Janet and Rita are heading to the shops. Oh no! Here comes the Grannies! <laughs> the Grannies cause chaos in Mom's corner store. Rita forgets to pay for her beans again. Wake up, Janet, says Mom. Just having a nana nap, love. <laughs> Rita makes a run for it, but slips on her beans. I slipped on my beans. <laughs> I slipped on my beans. She said she slipped on her beans. Bingo jumps up giggling and begins to floss. But Bluey doesn't think grannies can floss. Yeah, they can, replies Bingo. They ask Mom who is right. Mom sighs. Uh, ask your father. <laughs> they find Dad in the bathroom, unblocking his stinky toilet. How should I know if grannies floss, he tells them. Go ask your Nana. Of course, Bluey and Bingo call Nana. If she can floss, then Bingo's right. But if she can't, Bluey's right. Nana's ears answer. Down, Nana. Then her feet. Up, Nana. <laughs> then her eyeball. Back, Nana, back. Nana's not great with screens and things, but finally she works it out. Hi, girls. Nana, can you do the floss and dance? Asks Bingo. Well, I'll give it a go, says Nana. <laughs> she wibbles and wobbles and flaps her arms around. Baba joins her and starts to dance too, kicking his legs out to the sides. It's dancing all right, but it's not flossing. <laughs> I was right, yells Bluey. Grannies can't floss. Yes! 
Bluey wants to carry on playing, but Bingo doesn't feel like being a granny anymore. Bluey doesn't understand why it stumps off. <laughs> Bluey's mad. Mom suggests Bluey ask herself if she wants to be right or if she wants the game to keep going. You gotta make a choice because sometimes you can't have both. You gotta choose. But Bluey thinks you can. I know. She makes another call. Nana, you're going to learn how to floss. It's time to teach this old dog a new trick. <laughs> when Bluey is done, she surprises the bingo. Grannies can floss, shouts bingo. Yeah, I was wrong, says Bluey with a smile. Thanks, Bluey, says bingo. Thanks, Nana. You're welcome, bingo. Let's play Granny, says Bluey. Lovely day for a drive, wouldn't you say, Rita? Sure is, Janet. Thump. Beep, beep. I'm going to put these wet clothes on the line. Woo! <laughs> nice, parking, nice parking spot, Rita. Rita and Janet might not be the best drivers, but they sure know how to floss. And that's way more fun than being right. The end. <laughs> Bluey grannies. Bluey the Creek. Bluey's bored of the playground. She's played on everything twice. Mackenzie has an idea. What about we go to the creek? Yeah, I'll take you down to the creek, says Dad. Yay, cry the kids. Dad scoops up Bingo and races off. Let's bush bash. Bluey holds back. She's not sure what the creek is like. Maybe she might just stay in the playground. <laughs> But Mackenzie won't let her. Come on, Bluey. The creek is beautiful. The creek is very different from the playground. There are more thorns here, more spiders, and definitely more leeches. Wow. But there's also more of these fellas. The, the gang heads down a slope. The ground is more uneven here, and there are no steps like at the playground. Ah, uh, wow, says Bingo. When they arrive at the creek, both Mackenzie and Bingo think the creek is beautiful. But Bluey still wonders if they're right. <laughs> Bluey said, I ain't seen nothing yet. <laughs> Dad and Bingo lead them to the spot where he played as a kid. They rock hop across the water. Some of the rocks are pointy, others are wobbly, and the green ones are slippery. The creek is beautiful, Bluey says to herself. It's so lovely. I'm not scared of it at all, but she might be a little. Woo! <laughs> Bluey is getting the hang of the creek. <laughs> you made it, Squirt, says Dad. The creek is an adventure. Here we are. I don't think I've been to the creek since I was your age, says Dad. It still looks the same. The creek must be really old. <laughs> The creek must be really old then. Blue is not sure what to play. In the background, in the in the playground, I said background. <laughs> Blue is not sure what to play. In the playground, it is easy, but the creek is different. <laughs> just then, a dragonfly flutters past, and Blue just starts mucking around, skipping stones and making boats, <laughs> and building dams. Blue thinks the creek is fun. At Daddy's Day Spa, Dad finally gets his nails done. Bingo slops a mud pack on Dad. This will make you very beautiful. Oh, I'm out of mud. I'll get some more, volunteers Bluey and heads off. <laughs> Bluey, I was wondering, though. <laughs> Bluey squelches her paws into the mud. Suddenly, there's a rustling noise. Bluey looks up and gasps. A potero. They stare at each other. The potero's nose twitching before it bounds off. As the gang heads home, Bluey doesn't have to wonder if Mackenzie and Bingo were right. She knows for sure deep inside that the creek is beautiful. <laughs> Look at Bingo. I ain't see mom this time. Mom wasn't there. Let me see. But the end. Bluey the pool. It's a hot summer's day and Bluey wants to know what the family is going to do. Nothing until you cleaned your teeth, says Mom, but Bluey doesn't want to. That's boring. Boring things are important too, says Mom. Bluey thinks that if boring things were important, then they'd be more fun. Dad bursts in. Let's go for a swim in Uncle Strike's pool, yells Dad. Yeah, cry the girls. Don't forget 
The swim stuff calls mom, but Bluey, Bingo, and Dad are already rushing out the door and into the car. Mom is such a foot spot. She always makes us do boring things, says Bluey. She does, says Dad. <laughs> Dad egging them on. <laughs> when they get to Uncle Stripes, Bluey leaps down onto the footpath. It's hot. Bluey and Bingo don't have their sandals. Ow! <laughs> so Dad ends up carrying them. I'm a giraffe. Then it's time for Bluey and Bingo to put on their rash shoes and sunscreen, but Dad's forgotten them. Biscuits. <laughs> we'll just have to stay in the shady bit and we'll put our hats on, says Dad. What hats? asks Bluey. Left everything. Bluey does a cannonball into the pool. This is going to be fun. Bingo wants to jump in too. Dad, can I have my floaty? She asks. Sorry, Squirt. I didn't bring them, says Dad. Bingo's not sure about the crawly thing either. <laughs> Bingo said no. Uh, Bluey wants to swim all the way to the other end of the pool, but she can't go into the sunny bit. You got no sunscreen on, reminds Dad. Dad is the shady bit going to get bigger or smaller, X Bluey. Uh, bigger for sure, says Dad. <laughs> Dad don't know. <laughs> I mean, smaller, says Dad. So he didn't know. <laughs> the pool doesn't seem that much fun anymore. Dad, I'm bored. Dad, I'm cold. Dad, I'm freezing. Dad, I'm hungry. Dad, I'm starving. Dad, 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 dad. <laughs> okay, can everyone stop saying dad, says dad. I think dad is actually boring. Mom is way more fun, declares Bluey. A warm voice floats into the pool area. Oh, that's nice to hear, says mom. I brought all the swim stuff you left behind. Mom, mom. <laughs> mom even remembered to bring morning tea. After they've eaten, Mom helps Bluey put on some sunscreen, and Dad helps Bingo with her floaties. He said, I'm so glad to see you. <laughs> so boring things are important sometimes then, asks Mom. Yes, agrees Bluey. <laughs> Goggles mean Bluey can play torpedo. Floaties mean Bingo can escape from the crawly thing. And sinkies take you to the very bottom of the pool. Where you can see all sorts of things. The end. Subscribe.